Welcome in. This is a, <laughs> I'm just giggling, uh, 30 minute. It's a 30 minute practice today. And um, I will do my best to keep it at 30 minutes, I promise. Um, yeah, so this Tuesday class has changed format. Um, it goes in waves. If you tune in um, every time, you're going to get a a very different practice from time to time. Last week, we did a really powerful med uh, memory meditation, the Sata Nama meditation. I posted it in the free uh, classes on the shop page of my website so that you can um, pass it along. It's for people who have Alzheimer's and dementia and any of us who are wanting to actually just um, get more in tune with how your cognitive functioning can improve. And today we're going in a radically different direction, which is a core and restore practice. So um, settle in, let yourself arrive, close your eyes, take some nice long deep breaths. And just uh, give yourself permission to find some aspect of nourishment through the breath. I find that's usually a committed choice that we can make. The breath can go rote and on autopilot, or we can tune in, tap in, and really let the breath nourish who we are. And we invite you to just figure out how to breathe wide through the ribs and then try to soften the exhalation into your back body so that you're not collapsing on yourself. Um, but you use the inhale to create a broadening and an exhalation to create a, a continued expansion. This is a, an awareness that I'll continue to come back to through the practice as we move into core practice. A lot of times people start to bear down and pull the front ribs uh, down and really tighten, which makes sense. But um, can we also try to maintain an expansion more into the back body and learn to move from back body awareness, which is truly, it's an advanced practice. So it may take you some time to figure this out. The restorer part of this is we're, doing some twists and restoring a healthy energy flow to your spine. And we'll also end with some uh, prone on your belly back bends, which will help restore some of that natural curve to your spine. So I'm putting all this into your awareness so that you have a roadmap. You can soften and let that be part of the restore aspect Draw your hands to your heart. And let this outward gesture of holding the reason why you came to your mat today, let it be felt, let it be seen, let it be a reminder that as we endeavor to get stronger, we can also uh, become more luminous strong on the inside and really vibrant and alive from the inside out. Take a deep breath in, a nice long breath out. Inhale to one om, your om. Release your hands and open your eyes. If you'd like to place a blanket down so that you have something soft under the upper body, I think that's it's not a bad call. And as you come onto your back, flatten your feet, 
bend your knees, take your hands to the base of your front ribs and just come back into that sweet uh, breath where the ribs expand laterally. And then as you exhale, can you try to soften? So notice where your spine touches the mat. And try to get the entire thoracic spine where your ribs go all the way to your waistline to the floor, not by bearing down into the back body, but by softening into the back body. It's a big difference. As you take cactus arms, uh, you may need to support the back of your wrist with some blankets if your shoulders are tight. And if that's just not handy, you can extend the arms more like a T. With your next exhalation, try not to bear down, but just breathe wide into the back body and then gently tone your core as you lift your knees up over your hips. And then notice where your level of, of extension is when you stretch your legs up, maybe they have to stay bent so you're not affecting how the breath can stay fluid. Really flex your feet, pull your toes toward your nose so you can get a little stretch on the backs of the calves and the backs of the knees. Now really come back into your breath and notice how far you can lower your right leg without having to bear down so hard, but your core will engage. And if it goes too low, it gets too hard and you have to really like, Ur. Don't do that, keep breathing. And inhale, right leg up. And same thing as you lower left leg, just stay full in the breath and the back body. And inhale, left leg. And find your range of motion here where you feel like you're engaging but not hardening, over hardening, like over effort. The breath is resonant. It's continuing to really expand into the back of the ribs with your exhalation. And try both legs and just be mindful. I'm gonna invite you to squeeze your ankles together, softly bend your knees. So put a little bend in your knees here and really pay attention. Can you keep that back body breath? And don't, it's not about driving yourself too hard and bring them back up. And maybe go in six inch increments so you can really stay with the breath here. And back up, and one more time. And back up, and lower right leg. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, and both legs again, and just soft bend to the knees, squeeze your knees, squeeze your ankles, firm the muscles right around your tailbone, and up, and just be honest, it's okay, you're cultivating strength. And last one. And this time we'll lower the right leg and bend the left knee. So it's right up over your hips and take this as a restore moment where try to feel the bottom of your sacrum. That's where your tailbone and that triangle bone in your hips unite. And then use a soft back body breath to try to level off 
the top of the sacrum with the bottom of the sacrum. And with your exhale, now twist that left leg over to the right. And don't go into like, oh, this is my deepest, fullest twist. My left shoulder came off the floor. I let it. And then with your exhalations, you can try to bring that left shoulder back to the mat. Inhale, center, bend both knees. Stretch the left leg down. Anchor the heel, flex your feet. And as your nose and your chin become level with the ceiling above you, press through the back of your head, press through your left heel. And take that breath into the back body and notice the shape of your lumbar spine as if your hip flexors are really tight, you're gonna to need to try to focus and get the top of the sacrum more level with the bottom of the sacrum. And that's uh, the given that I didn't teach was that your left leg stays anchored to the floor. And sweet, long, nourishing breath in. And the exhale twists right leg to left. If that right shoulder lifted, just notice it. And then use the softness of an exhale to lower that right shoulder back towards the mat. Inhale, center. Place your feet on the earth, shrug your shoulders toward your ears, keep them up towards the ears and squeeze the shoulder blades and then pick up your head and set it back down. Deep breath in, full breath out. And next time you lift your feet, just keep the knees bent across the left knee over the right knee like you were um, squeezing something sweet there between the knees. And then see if you can cross that left ankle under the back of the right calf, Garudasana legs. And there's a midline where all the points of the legs touch. Just give yourself a squeeze from the left big toe to the inner right ankle, outer right knee, outer left knee. And if it works for you, cross left arm under right Garudasana arms. Now wind yourself up. And then soften into your breath and just hold yourself in strength. I like to take the, the right hand and just rest it on my forehead and it helps the fingertips. I just rest the fingertips down on my forehead here. Now find that back body breath. Squeeze all the midline points where your legs touch, your elbows touch. And with your exhalation, breathe into the back body, but pull the elbows towards the knees to lift your sternum up. And inhale back. And exhale, try to keep nose and chin level towards the ceiling. And we'll do a few more here. Follow your breath. Keep the breath moving. Now unwind the arms, keep the legs if you can, and take the knees to your left, and perhaps your gaze to the right. And just recover, restore the smoothness of your breath. And let this uh, twist. If it doesn't work for you to keep the Garudasana legs, unwind the legs and bring the knees together. Press the bottom leg up into the top leg to inhale your way up. Unwind your legs. Hold your knees and rock it side to side. So nourish up that triangular bone that's in your hips. 
And then pull your knees together. And we'll take right knee over left knee. See if you can cross the right toes under the left calf muscle. And if it works for you, the right arm under left Varadasana arms and legs. And then if it helps keep you soft, just let the left fingertips just drape down and touch your forehead. Find the midline, squeeze, breathe, and following the rhythm of your breath, the exhale will draw the knees and the elbows towards one another, and the inhale will open. So just stay fluid in the breath, and your shoulders can lift any amount, but it's got to feel like it's supported um, back body breath, not a bearing down on the front. I'm not really counting. I'm just kind of going for it. So I don't know. We'll hope. I hope it ends. <laughs> ah. Let's do three more. Keep the legs if you can, or place the knees together if you need more. Open the arms, cactus. And keep squeezing whatever placement you've got of your legs as you take it to the right, maybe the gaze to the left. Full back body breath. All right, inhale center. Hold your knees, rock it around. Bring the knees together and your hands behind your head, but more towards your ears. Lift your elbows towards the sky. Now, as you extend the right leg back to where it was before, yeah, we're gonna just keep your shoulders down, but roll the right elbow towards the outer left knee. So it's more coming from back body than you trying to lift your shoulders up. It's more of a lateral oblique roll from right to left. You don't have to lift your head very far at all. And that right leg can be pretty high if you need it to stay high so that you're breathing. And this is your last one. Switch, left leg out, up or up or out and down. And it's literally across the body. Uh, shoulder blades can stay on the mat, especially that right one. There you go. Listen to your breath. Mm. And here's your last sword. All right, and down. And feet as wide as the sticky mat. Windshield wiper twists. Windshield wiper twist is also a great one to notice how the base of the rib wants to lift. And see if you can breathe the, the base, the back ribs with your exhalation. So breathe them towards the mat instead of towards the sky. All right, circle out your ankles. And uh, you decide, are you gonna roll to the right and press yourself upright to a seat or are you going to rock and roll your way up? Up to you. And we'll take uh, feet to the earth, hands behind, top of the throat back, lower ears back. 
firm your core, but don't bear down and try to breathe into your back body. Keep the back body full, hands to your knees and lift your feet. Keep directing the breath into the back body and extend one leg. So it should feel like less strain on your hip flexors and more about what's happening way up high in the strength of your core. That's it. Cross your ankles, hands forward. You can either jump to plank or step to plank. All right, so it depends on the person, but some people really like feet together in plank. It helps you find a midline, especially if you bend your knees and strengthen your tailbone, lift your throat. Some people need their feet to go wider. So if you figure it out, so you're not collapsing in your lower back, you're not straining in your breath. And if you need your knees down, that's uh, also your option. Try not to overdome the upper back or over soften the upper back. Find that place where the back body is full, the breath is full, and you feel like you could stay here and have some Cheerios. Now option here, some of you will need to come to your knees for this, but we're going to try not to wiggle the hips all over the place and bring uh, right forearm down and left forearm down. And now micro bend the knees and really find your core. Breathe into your back body. And left hand to plank, root through left so that right hand feels supported. And now root through right, left arm to forearm, right arm to forearm. And again, if you need to come to your knees for this, pay attention, right arm up, left arm up. Deep breath, just a few more. And then we'll go left forearm down, right forearm down. Right hand up, left hand up. Right arm down, left arm down. Left arm up, right arm up. Knees to the earth. <laughs> and dog pose, no, child's pose. I guess if you want a dog pose, take a dog pose. This is a core and restore. <laughs> Find the restore. And inhale up all fours. Mm. Plank. Deep breath. And uh, here we go. Are you ready for this? Right arm, left arm, left arm, right arm. Deep breath. Right arm, left arm, left arm, right arm. Now we'll do two on the left. Left arm, right arm, right arm. Left arm, left arm, right arm, <laughs> right arm, Whew. left arm, child's pose. Make it an extended child's pose. That means the arms go straight out. Inhale up, all fours, stretch the right leg back, push through the ball of your foot and micro bend that knee. Micro bend the knee and push through the ball of your foot, arm bones into shoulder socket. Breathe into your back body <clears throat> and really trust that right leg and step the left foot back. Bend, micro bend the left knee and bring the right knee down and step right leg back. 
micro bend the right knee, left knee down. And we'll alternate that way. So no locking of the knees. As soon as you lock out your knees, and if you need to, you'll just take a pause, take a break. Good. And child's pose. Plank. Forearm plank. Come down to the knees. Point your toes. Pull the elbows back. And slide the upper arm bones back. So move them posteriorly and the heart anteriorly. Come to Sphinx. Top of the throat back, lower ears back. Pressing through the shoelace side of your feet, root right above the kneecaps, right the distal end of your femur bone, down into the sticky mat. Strengthen the upper inner thighs and lengthen your tailbone. Bow the heart, just soften the heart a little bit. Keep dragging the elbows back and bend your knees. And so for some of you, the feet stay pretty low because your lower back needs more space. For others, you're gonna, you can bend the knees quite a bit, flex your ankles. Keep the tailbone strong, dig, drag the elbows back and pull the belly button forward, heart forward, but upper arm bones back. Try not to bear down on the side body, but try to lengthen right under your armpit towards your ears. And release your legs. Extend one arm, push through the fingertips. Keep rooting through the fingertips, extend the other arm. Look right down between your hands, your, your arms. Top of the throat, so your nose and your chin remain level. Gently firm your thut, your thut, butt hamstring. And if it feels good, you'll lift right arm up. If it feels strong, you'll lift left arm up. Both feet. Place the hands where you do for cobra. Push the hands down, drag the hands back and pull the belly button forward, side body's long, waistline to armpit. Lift your upper arm bones. Not cobra, it's chaturanga, upper body. Yep. Now root the tailbone and the tops of the feet and curl up to your cobra. Nice. <laughs> And all the way down. Lift up. Kick stand. Left leg back. Right leg straight. And we'll take a gatekeepers. And other way. Ooh, that felt good. Smooth out your breath. So let the uh, breath cues apply here. Wide through the ribs with inhale. Soften into the end of the back with exhale. Inhale, unwind, have a seat. Cross into Sukhasana, that means shins 
cross, ankles flex, sit up tall, hold your knees, and try not to pull the bottom ribs forward. A lot of yogis are so used to that, our back bends. Just use the hands, do pull the lumbar curve forward, but maintain that core strength. Back body awareness, soften your shoulders. Left hand, right knee, and twist. Cross, right arm over, take a little bow into the heart. Unthread the left arm and twist from right to left. And when we're using the wisdom of the breath in a twist, the inhales create length and the exhales twist around the length from the opposite side you're twisting toward. So go from right to left. Inhale, bring that left arm around, bow into the heart. Draw your hands to your heart. What about this day feels like the most precious gift? What about being in your body and your strength and your breath and in your softness feels like a precious gift? And may you take the restorative energies that are flowing through you, that, that which feels nourishing and illuminating. May you take that with you and shine it forth. Make your little corner of the world a better place. Namaste. Thank you. Shine on.